A student receives the following grades with A worth four points, a B worth three points. I think there should have been a C worth two points and a D worth one point. So we missed the C. I think when I was doing the screenshot, uh, this thing came up. Now, what is the student's weighted grade point score? Okay, so for this problem, you really need to pay attention to how you can create a table with these things. So B in two four credit classes, A in one credit class, D in one two credit class, and then C in one three credit class. Okay, so you have to pay attention. Now you can pause the video and try your hands on the problem. Okay, now let's look at it together. So we are looking at, it's, pos, it's, it's good that you create a table, is that okay? Now, uh, what we can do here is that we can look at the letter grade, or if you want, let's, let me just write grade for, to save space, okay. So let's look at just grade. Okay, and then the credit that goes with the grade. And we will, we will continue the table. Okay, now B in two credit, in two, four credit classes. So that means that we have two Bs right there. So B in two, four credit classes and each of these Bs have four credits, sounds good. And then let's look at A in one, three credit. That means that there was a single A in one, three credit. And the credit that goes with that is three. And D in one, two credit class. So a single D and the credit that goes with that is what is one and C in one, three credit class. So C and the credit that goes with that is what? S three. Sounds good. Nice. Now that you've done this, uh, each of the letter grades ha ha has a different weight. Okay, we read that a is worth four points, B is worth three points, C is worth two, D is worth one. So now let's put the corresponding um, weights against each of the letter grade. So we know that B is, uh, what, is three, okay, and B is three, A is worth four points, okay, one, and then C is two. Okay, so what this means is that uh, in a semester, in a semester, right, if you average all A's, if you get all A's in your classes, you are averaging 4.0. If you get all C's, you are averaging 2.0. If you get all D's, you are averaging 1.0. Is that okay? All B's, 3.0. So each of these have um, different weights assigned to them. Now let's find quality points. So I'm gonna do the quality points right there. Okay, now for the quality points, what we're going to do is we are going to multiply each, the value of each letter grade by the corresponding credit. Okay, and what do we have? So I'm go, I'll put equal signs against all of them. And now three by four gives you 12. Three by four gives you another 12. And then we have another 12. Okay, and what do we have? A D, what do you get for D? It says um, D in one, two credit. So the credit for that should have been two. Okay, so sorry about that. So that is two right there because it says D in one, two credit. Okay, good. And now we do two by three, that gives you six. 
Is that okay? So good. So this is the background for us to now find the GPA or the mean grade score of for the students. Is that okay? Now, first of all, what is the total credit? How many credits did the student take? So we do four plus four plus three. Okay, so four plus four gives you eight. Eight plus three gives you um, 11, 11 plus two gives you 13, and then 13 plus three gives you 16. So the, to the student took a, to a total of 16 credits. Now we need to also sum the quality points. So we're going to add all these together, add all these together, okay, add them. And when you put these together, so 12 by three plus two plus six, and this gives you 44. Okay, so to find the GPA or the grade, uh, the mean grade point, which is the same as the GPA, you're going to do the quality points, okay, which is some of the quality points, which is 44 divided by the total credit, which is 16. Is that okay? And when you do 44 divided by 16, this gives you 2.75, but we have been asked to run to the nearest tent. And this will be what, 2.8. And that is how you find the student's GPA um, in, um, for the semester, right? So you have, to be, you have to pay attention to this. Be careful how you strategize them. And it's always helpful to create a table to be able to do it in a more organized manner, okay? All right, so thanks very much. And let me know if you have questions.